Howdy again, it's Tubal Kane, and this is my Creality CR10 printer given to me by Banggood. And this is one of my earlier prints, so I've had it for about two weeks and I'm just starting to master it a, a little bit. I, I'm a long way, I guess, from fully mastering it, but I'm using Tinkercad and Cura as my slicer. This is the base for this little steam engine. This is a 13 hour print and it's just now finishing up and I'm going to show you when it's done but here's an earlier version of it. Just a base for the steam engine. Not a permanent base but in fact just uh, something to think about because I, I want to make one out of aluminum ultimately. However this does not have pattern draft on it so it cannot be used as a, a foundry pattern. The printer works great. Now inside of the base is a support. So that takes a long time to print. It's almost like a, uh, an accordion, but that doesn't take up much material, but that keeps the top from sagging. And uh, some of the problems I've had, or they're not really problems, but I, I need uh, some help if anybody can tell me how do I get the printer head to return to the home position when I'm uh, when it completes the cycle because it just stops wherever it is also I would like the the print to be more in the center of the bed I'm not sure how to do that and I'm having trouble uh, with the automatic uh, heating I, I thought that the heat would come on for the nozzle and the bed what I preset uh, automatically and it seems like I have to go into the controller to do that so if anybody can put that in the comments, it might help me a little bit. I may not be able to answer them. And this may be, uh, as I said, a temporary video. So I'll show you this as when it completes uh, its print here. And it's uh, 7 in the morning, and I started this before supper last night. <laughs> I know there are settings that can reduce that time. In fact, this one was a 6-hour one but it's pretty rough. Well that was fortuitous. When I walked over to the end of the other end of the shop I heard the printer stop so notice that it did stop just where it finished printing so let's see if auto home will work here. The problem with the auto home is that sometimes the nozzle has more or less welded itself to the uh, print. So let's see also, I can disable the steppers and, and move on, but here I'm going to hit Auto Home. Okay. Good. Now I'll take my spatula here and remove it. Getting the print to adhere to the bed is a big problem, and I've tried everything from white rain to uh, various glue sticks. These came from the dollar store and are bordering on the worthless. The scotch worked pretty well, but still it dries very quickly on the hot bed, and this is still warm. And, you know, you want it to stick, but not so hard that you can't get it off. I have a little trouble getting her started right now. There it goes. And sometimes the tape comes up with it. I'm afraid I'm not a patient man, although you may think that I am. Waiting th 13 hours must make me a little bit patient. So this is called the brim. Well, we all know that. Now, I watched over a hundred videos on how to print. Most of them are absolutely worthless. For instance, it was a long time before I figured out that I needed G-codes to go in here and that I needed a slicer. Nobody, well not nobody, but most people do not make that very uh, clear. That's the support. Again, this is throw away. Comes off pretty easily. You know, there are hundreds of printer settings. This is a pretty smooth one. A little line there, and then this is the brim. 
I think I said that. And in Tinkercad, it, it seems like it's not very precise. Of course, I can enlarge it and do some of the self-centering and everything, but you can see that the hole here, you know, that was not bad. Sometimes I end up with a hole that isn't quite uh, centered. So there it is. This is the well for the flywheel. This is a lot of fun. The only uh, ridiculous thing is that in 13 hours I could have made three wooden patterns with tape around it, gone out to my garage, made two sand molds and poured it and have a finished product. So this isn't particularly fast, the, all of the different steps that are involved in doing this, but it, it sure is amazing. Two days ago I was in Chicago at McCormick Place and I attended FabTech 2017 and I saw some wonderful things there including a car printed out. This was in the lobby, a, a Shelby Cobra that had been printed on a Cincinnati and uh, it said that the print time it was 12 hours. Oh come on, if this took 13 hours how could that be done in 12, 12 hours? Well I know that the the printer is as big as my garage, but I thought that was pretty neat. I also want to show you a couple of stills of uh, people that I met there at uh, in the Lincoln welding booth. And, of course, Jimmy DeResta was there and, and uh, Big Jim Bollinger and uh, uh, Jody from Welding Tips and Tricks and a few others, uh, Doug from Retro Weld. So I had a ball talking to these people. I'll show you some stills I didn't have my big camera with me because I thought maybe they wouldn't let me in there with it. Here's some other things that I did just for the fun of it. And, you know, I was greatly disappointed and still am with uh, Tinkercad because it doesn't produce a true circle. It's a polygon. And the larger your print, the more apparent it becomes that it's not a true circle. So that was a pouting disappointment to me. But, you know, it's a free program, so I shouldn't uh, worry about that. Now, this is just a little cube that I I did for uh, sizing and this is of course in millimeters it is so incredibly accurate I wish I had my caliper in my hand I might show that in another video that, that dimensionally this is incredibly accurate and I made a core box that's just a rough one uh, I'm going to do some better ones than this you might have noticed that Myford boy out of England in a near genius uh, is doing uh, many things that I do. It's almost like we copy each other, but we're not. I've never met him, but uh, I think he did a core box, and I believe he has a printer just like this one, the CR-10, which is really a, a neat one. I thank Banggood for that. And I made a, a T-slot cleaner for the bridge port. That's a stiffener. I'm just playing around. I'm not sure I needed the stiffener. That was uh, one hour and 30 minutes. And I made several of these. This is one of the earlier versions. That's glue you see there. This is a throat plate for the Delta 14 inch bandsaw. But of course I could have made one out of aluminum. I could have made 10 of them out of aluminum yeah. <laughs> manually in the time that I fiddled around learning Tinkercad and printing these. So, uh, Alright, that concludes this short video number one and I'm going to do more on this printer because it really is an an awesome uh, outfit that I got from Banggood and uh, uh, I hope you enjoy these videos if, if you do I will do uh, a bunch of them however this is really quite different from my machine shop videos this is Tubal Kane saying so long for now <laughs>